What is the real story behind a genetic AI? The harder you try to control, difficult to scale, and uh, if you try to scale, the risk of losing control of these agents. Does this mean that enterprises should scale down their ambition? There is a need for a network of agents, or what we call a nexus of these agents, to be assembled to execute for these enterprise use cases. And what requires for that is what we call a fabric where these agents can come together and then execute for the enterprise use case. You're building a progressive cognitive system, as I would call it, which is a system and not just agents uh, that enable rich collaboration to get your goals achieved for the enterprise. Welcome to Nudesic's latest podcast series, Beyond the Stack, where we explore how forward-thinking technology reshapes enterprise strategy. I'm Pari Punj, a senior marketing consultant at Nudesic and your host for this series. Today, we're diving into a topic that has probably been over-promised and yet under-explained. It's AI agents for enterprises. There's no shortage of bold claims around what autonomous agents are promising to do today, right from customer service to compliance. But what is the reality behind the buzz? As enterprises race to harness the potential of AI, they are confronting tough trade-offs between autonomy and accountability. So what does it take to move from potential to production? To unpack this, I am joined by someone who's been at the forefront of AI strategy for enterprises. Joel Jolly, the Vice President of Technology Services at Nudesic. Joel, welcome. Thank you, Pari. Nice to be here. So, Joel, let's start with the core question. What is the real story behind agentic AI? Well, let me start by defining what an agent is because the reality is there is enough ambiguity and confusion around the definition of an agent. An agent to me is an AI system that is context aware, one that leverage a language model or a reasoning model to plan, break down and take action on behalf of a user or a system while it you know, continuously adapts. And when you look at it from that lens, what we see today is, uh, and I've written a short post about this and I called it the first gen agent paradox. To unpack this, let me share a few observations. One is the conversations around control versus scalability dilemma, which is the harder you try to control, difficult to scale. And uh, if you try to scale, the risk of losing control of these agents. Uh, another conversation is, as we are all aware that the space is rapidly evolving. And uh, it is intriguing while it is overwhelming to uh, catch up to what is evolving in a day-to-day -day manner. So enterprises are finding it difficult to design, build, and deploy some of these agents which is that to take this beyond a prototyping stage because it's one thing to have this code written in notebooks to you know call the reasoning chain and call the tools uh, successfully but then to take it to production requires a different metal and the real challenge enterprises face is the talent shortage for what i call a cognitive full stack engineering to enable this to take it to production and then you know finally the observation is bringing systems which is not just responding, right? These are acting on, on the context, on judgment, and is autonomous. And this requires a different uh, robustness and security and scalability needs for the enterprise to take it to, um, to production and most often requires re-architecture of business models. Uh, and that involves architecture interventions and an organization compass to drive this um, to the front. Okay, so um, enterprises have these grand visions of fully autonomous agents, but in reality, things can get complicated. Does this mean that enterprises should scale down their ambition? Well, not exactly. Uh, if creators and builders like ourselves focus on what I would call, quote unquote, um, you know, agency as an architecture and not a phenomenon or a hype, uh, focusing more on engineering, AI engineering best practices. Uh, let me unpack that by a few examples or practices that we demand. One is engineering for resilience. When you build agentic solution, resilience engineering is at the core because you're dealing with a lot of stochasticity because you're leveraging this approximate reasoners and approximate retrievals, which is models that is inherent to these agents. And enterprises demand a resilient uh, system to be in the front. Uh, so for that, you need to look at methods and techniques like uh, for instance, adopting modularity with micro agents or controlled state management, or for that matter, fallback and recovery mechanisms because agents can fail. 
uh, or bringing resiliency at the planning stage itself, uh, introducing an agent preparatory stage or a blueprint generator and a validations. So at Nutasig, what we do is we bring these conversations to the front, cutting the uh, noise and bringing the practical views of implementing agents for enterprise. Okay, so more on that, what exactly is Nudesic bringing to the table for enterprises? So, uh, let me start, with, we, we have very opinionated and strong point of views in this space, so let me start with the point of view on that. Um, we believe every enterprise, irrespective of industry and size, will be dealing with what we call a society of agents. And what I mean by that is, you're already seeing that agents from SAP, Salesforce, ServiceNow, all the major platforms, or from Microsoft and other uh, hyperscalers as well. What that translates is enterprises may not be building all these agents, um, you know, for the for 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 the enterprise use cases. But what what is going to happen is there is a need for a network of agents or what we call a nexus of these agents to be assembled to execute for these enterprise use cases. And what requires for that is what we call a fabric where these agents can come together and then execute for the enterprise use case. So Nudesic has built some bridge solutions and assets that enable this foundation building blocks for this fabric to be built for every enterprise. And not just that, we bring the trifecta power, uh, our parent company being IBM. Uh, we can tap into the rich IBM research and capabilities. IBM has been at the forefront of everything agentic, whether that is the agent con uh, context protocol or open source agentic frameworks. Um, and Nudesic also is a specialized solution provider of Microsoft. We are in that inner circle partner of Microsoft where we can tap into the rich capabilities and uh, solutions of Microsoft on which our assets are built. So that's what we bring to the clients. That sounds very intriguing, Joel. So now for all of our viewers, what are some of the essential things that they should keep in mind as they try to step into this space? Sure. Um, and let me share the key takeaways from this conversation and that could be um, one is to view uh, what does it mean to build foundations than thinking about an agent first approach. Yeah, the idea is to bring agent readiness into the enterprise, focus on building rich foundations that can enable this architecture for the enterprise. Second is looking at you're building a progressive cognitive system, as I would call it, which is a system and not just agents. Uh, that enable rich collaboration to get your goals achieved for the enterprise, which is not a model of the agent that you're building. So how do you gear up for building cognitive systems? And finally, what does it mean to view agents um, as not just a universal fix to all problems, uh, but agents as an integral component or a foundational component of your enterprise AI stack? And uh, how do you build the stack to leverage for your use cases, right? So that's what I would share uh, some of the key takeaways out of it. These are wonderful insights, Joel. And I think we've already started seeing results in field operations where we've seen a 130% boost in productivity using our AI-powered field assist solution. So this clearly shows that when enterprise approach uh, agentic AI with focus, clarity, and intent, that's when it can drive real value. Thank you so much for all these great insights, Joel. And thank you all for watching this podcast. Stay tuned for more episodes of Beyond the Stack. To know more, you'll find our contact information on the screen. Until next time, build responsibly, scale wisely, and lead with purpose.